Ciao friends and welcome to a new unplugged video from SQL BI. In this video, I want to elaborate a bit about a question that was asked during a training. A student wanted to compute a variation of the like for like. The question was, I want to see the sales in all the other stores, but only for the brands that are sold in the current store. So they were performing an analysis by store. Now, in a store, you might have a few brands which are being sold, and you want to see the sales in all the other stores, but not considering brands that are not sold in the first store. So if the other stores sell 10 different brands, but the current store only sells a couple of brands, I want to restrict the calculation for the other stores for only the brands in the current store. It's an interesting question because that requires building a suitable filter using Calculate, uh, manipulating in some way the tables in order to obtain the correct result. Let's take a look with the demo and then we understand the problem better and we start writing DAX code together in order to solve the scenario. Let's get started. I already have this report prepared in order to demonstrate the problem first. I'm filtering the store country now filtering just a couple of brands. Now, in Italy, we do have two stores, Contoso Store Enna and Contoso Store Pesaro. And Contoso Store Enna sells both Adatum and Adventure Works, whereas Contoso Store Pesaro sells only Adventure Works. So I want a new column here that shows uh, for this row for Adventure Works, the sales of Adventure Works in Enna. Because in that way, I can compare the sales of the current brand in different stores. And at the grand total for Contoso Store Pesaro, I want to reproduce again this number. I do not want to take into account a datum. So let's start writing the code together. It's a new measure. And we call it uh, uh, same brands other stores. Let me start just writing sales amount. So we have a measure, we place it in the report and we format it the right way. I do not want the currency, I want just a decimal number. Right now, this is just the same as the sales amount. So this is not what I wanted. But the next step is to start applying a filter. I want to restrict the calculation to only the brands that are visible in the current store. And I want to get rid of the filter from the brands, from the stores. So two steps are required. First, I want to restrict the calculation to only the brands. Then I want to remove the filter from the store. Now, searching for the brands that are sold in the current store is actually simple because I only need to scan the sales table and find the brands that are visible given the current filter context. Now, when the current filter context contains Anna, and I scan sales uh, grouping it by product brand, I will obtain a datum and adventure works. Whereas when the filter context is Pesaro, I will obtain only adventure works. Scanning the table and grouping by is a task of uh, summarize. So we just use calculate sales amount and we summarize sales by product brand. As I said, this summarize is going to return a datum and adventure works when I'm filtering Anna, and it's going to return only adventure works when I'm filtering by Pesar. If I change the code this way, this is not going to change anything because uh, uh, this summarize actually does not place further filter and does not remove further filter. But the important part is that it's placing a filter on the brand. The next step is to remove the filter from the store because I'm not interested in the sales in the current store, I want the sales in all the remaining stores. So I can just use a remove filter from the store. And now this is going to change the result. You see that the number shown here is way larger and it's no longer the same as the sales amount. The thing is, it's a bit too large. Why that? Well, I use remove filters and remove filters is going to ignore any filter on the store table. This includes the filter that I place on the country. I want to keep the filter on the country and remove any other filter. So not only the filter on the country, I would say that I would keep any filter placed in the report, removing the current filter in the current visual. And that is the task of all selected. So I can use all selected store. 
and by using all selected I now obtain the sales in all the other stores. This is closer to what I want, but it's not yet perfect, because you see that for Adventure Works it shows 14897, which is the same of the sum of Adventure Works in Pesaro and in Enna. So it's not actually computing the sales in the other stores. It's computing the sales in all the stores, including the current one. I want to get rid of the current one because I want to compare the sales of the current one against the sales of all the others. So out of all selected store, I want to remove the current store. And the function that does it is accept. Accept accepts the first table that it contains all the stores that are selected. But out of all selected store, I remove values of store. This is going to return Pesaro when Pesaro is selected and Enna when Enna is selected. Except we'll just get rid of uh, the current store out of all the other stores. And now I have my measure that computes for Contoso store Pesaro 6120, six which is the sales amount of Contoso, and 8776, which are the sales of only adventure works in other stores. Whereas for Enna, it doesn't show anything for a datum because Storpezor does not sell a datum, and for Adventure Works, it shows 6120, which is the value of Pesaro. The formula works right now for Italy. It would not work well for the Netherlands because it's just summing all the values. You see that comparing a datum with other stores or Adventure Works with other stores is not entirely fair because I'm not considering only one store, I'm considering for the sales amount, the current store only, and for the same brands in other stores, all the possible stores except the current one. But the number of stores considered by the two calculations is not the same. So I need to add this to the equation. I want to divide the value shown here by the number of those stores. And that is not hard to obtain, I just need to use a division and divide the sales amount by the distinct count, distinct count of sales store key. By doing that, I'm now dividing the values here from a small number. Therefore, I can actually compare the sales of Adventure Works in this shop against the average sales of Adventure Works in all the remaining shops. And in this way, I can perform a like for like based on only the brands which are sold in the current store. As you have seen, the question was rather simple, and solving it is not hard. DAX is all about finding the correct way of changing the filter context in order to show the number you want. First, you need to identify a small dataset that you can use for a test, and then you start playing with tables. And we built a table containing uh, first the brand sold in the current store, then we remove the filters, and then we use all selected, and finally accept in order to obtain exactly the number we wanted. Finally, you always need to take into account that the report might compare different number of stores, and if that is the case, dividing by the number of stores transforms the number into an average. DAX is powerful, it only requires you to understand really well evaluation context. It's always the row context, the filter context, and context transition. We didn't use neither the row context or context transition here, only the filter context, but you have seen how powerful it is in obtaining complex calculations. Enjoy DAX!